hey fashion lovers you are welcome back to my youtube channel so this is the sewing tutorials on the video i posted about a month ago on how to draft a shoulder princess bustier with asymmetric neckline i'll be dropping the link on the description box so on the center front i added half an inch on both sides i also added half an inch and i notched the bust point and on this this side i added 1.5 inches then on the back, I also did the same thing. I added half an inch for seam allowance. Then on this side, I added 1.5 inches. And on the skirt, I added 4 inches on this side. Because it's a runge skirt, I want it to be free. I did the same thing on the back pattern. Then I also added interfacing on the fabric and on the lining. I'll be adding this wording on the bust area to give it a bra lift effect. So I'll just shape it this way and cut it out. I'll be cutting two of this. I'll be placing it on this bust area. So I'll be placing the shiny part of the wording on the lining and not on the main fabric. I've also cut out wording for the center front. So I'll give it a good press so that it will stick with the lining. So after ironing it, I'll show you what to do. So I have ironed the wording on the lining. I marked half an inch for sewing allowance and on the center front I notched the boss point because it must align with the side front. Now I'll start sewing it from the waist here and I'll make sure all the points are aligned and I'll sew it to the shoulder. So I'm done with the first side. Now I'll be sewing the second side. But this time I'll start sewing it from the shoulder by half an inch till I get to the waist. So this is the outcome of the cup. I'll just notch it. I'll be notching this side. The reason why you notch it is so that when you iron it, it will stay flat. So I'll iron these parts like this. So what I did on the lining, I'll do the same on the fabric. I'll start sewing it by half an inch and I'll show you what next to do. So this is the main fabric. I've joined it and I've also notched this part. Now I'll be joining the back panel by half an inch here. The first panel, I'll join it and I'll do the same thing for the second panel by half an inch. So I'm done sewing it. I'll also sew the lining later. Then on this part that I just finished sewing, I'll notch it over like this. Then I'll iron it flat and I'll show you. So this is the front panel. I've gone ahead to iron it. And this is the lining. So you need to be very careful when you are ironing the bust area. I use this breast form to iron the bust area. It is also called ham ironing ball. It helps the cup to be in shape. I also used it to iron the wrong side. Now on the skirt, remember we are making a runge dress. So on the fold, I'll take the bust pan measurement which is 4 inches. I'll take it on the waist to the full length. And I'll take a straight line. I'm marking it on the wrong side of the skirt. So I'll open it up. I'll use the length of the skirt to cut out the strip for the casing. I've gone ahead to cut out two strips I'll be using for the strap. I use time two of the skirt length to cut it out. For this other strip, I'll be using it for the casing. I use the exact skirt length to cut it out and the width is 3 inches. And this other two strips will be on the casing. I used 1.5 inches to, for the width. Now this is the strip I'll be using for the casing. Remember it's 3 inches. This is the center line. So I folded it by, like this by half an inch. I folded it to meet this center line. And I folded the second side to meet the center line. And I ironed it flat. And on the other strip, remember it's 1.5 inches. I got the center line also. And I folded this side to meet the center line. I folded the other side to meet the center line like this and I ironed it. So I ironed, ironed it flat to the end. So I'll refold it like this and I'll top stitch on it. I'll be placing this strip I'm using for the casing on this that line. So I'll be sewing it on the wrong side. I'll top stitch it this way and on the other side. So let's sew together. 
so the center line of the casing will be on this line so i'm trying to turn it over to the other side so that i'll continue sewing don't forget you're sewing on the wrong side of the skirt so i'm cutting out the excess i have here so this is the casing i stopped sewing the casing before the end of the skirt i left two inches for seam allowance now i'll get the center line of this casing and i'll top stitch on it to the end like this so this is the casing so this is where the strap will pass through so i have about three quarter inch on both sides of the casing now i have the strap ready i made two of it the strap is about half an inch so i'll be using this safety pin to insert it into the casing like this i'll insert the first strap And I'll pull it out this way after fixing this first one I will now I'll be fixing the second one I'll do the same thing like this now fix it on the second casing so this is the strap so this is the good side of the skirt the next thing I'll be doing is to sew the second dart remember we use the first dart to make our casing so I'll be using half an inch for the dart. So I want the skirt dart to tally with the top. So I'll be using the dart to check to make sure it's aligning. So I'll just use it to create the second dart. So the length is six inches. So I've fixed the dart. Now I'll be joining the upper part of the dress to the skirt. And I'll also join the back part. But before then, I'll also sew the dart. But the length will be five inches the length for the dart, the back that is five inches and i'll join it also here like this by half an inch i'll also do the same thing for the second panel and i'll show you when i'm done so this is the dress i've joined it i've joined the top and the skirt together so this is the runch part and this is the strap so you can easily pull it up and pull it down so this is the back panel i've joined the top to the skirt so from the waist i'll come down by nine or ten inches that's where my zip will stop and i'll mark it then i'll turn it over this way and i'll sew it by one inch and stop at the ten inches i just took so i've joined it and i stopped here so i marked one inch that is where the zip will start and i'll place the good side of the zip on this line so i'll start sewing it here like this i've secured the zip with a pin and i'll sew it till i get to the, this point so i'm using a zipper foot i changed this foot to a zipper foot it helps to give your zip a very good finishing remember the zip is supposed to stop at this 10 inches mark so i'll sew after that 10 inches mark I'll go in a little like this then I'll lock it so this is the first part remember there's a joining on the waistline so I'll just use my my fabric chalk so I'll mark it from this waistline to the zip like this then I'll place this marked part on this second waistline here I'll make sure it aligns Then I'll pin it up. So after pinning it, I'll start sewing it. So I'll sew it to the end. So as you can see, the, the waist is aligning. So I'll open up the zip. I want to fix the lining to the fabric. So on the on the neckline, I'll place the good side of the lining to the good side of the fabric on the neckline here from this zip point and i'll sew it by quarter inch that i get to the shoulder so after sewing i'll cut out the excess zip here so this is the part i just sewed this is the lining now i'll be joining this side of the zip i'm joining it with the lining i'll come out a little after this first stitch and i'll sew it till i get to the end of where the zip stops here so i'll do that and i'll show you so this is the neckline this is the side i just finished stitching so I, I stitched it and i stopped where the zip stopped here so this is the good side 
so now i'll be i'll be doing the same thing for the other side of the back panel on this other part i'll do the same thing i'll pick the good side of the lining and i'll place it on the good side of the fabric and i'll sew it by quarter inch till i get to the end of the shoulder i'll do the same for the zip line and i'll stop and show you so this is the good side of the lining as you can see it's looking really nice so the next thing i'll be doing is to sew this part of the lining it's still open so i'll pick it this way i'll place the good side on the good side like this and i'll sew it by one inch so i'll sew it to the end and i'll show you so this is the lining the next thing i'll be doing is to sew the front neckline so i'll place the i'll place the good side of the lining to the good side of the fabric from the shoulder here so i'll sew it by quarter inch so i'll make sure these two sharp edge are aligning so i'll just pin it up so that it doesn't shift so now i'll start sewing it by quarter inch and i'll cross it this way to the shoulder so when i get to this point i'll make sure the needle, needle is inside the fabric and i'll turn it over and i'll sew it to the end so this is the neckline i sewed it when i got to this point i crossed it over and i sewed to the shoulder so i'll just notch the neckline like this so i'll also iron it so the next thing i'll be doing is to place the front and the back together that is the front shoulder and the back shoulder together so how do i do that i'll open it up this way i'll open the front like this and i'll also open the back shoulder like this then on this center point where the lining and the fabric meets i'll make sure they align together here so i'll pin it up and i'll sew it by half an inch I'll sew it by half an inch and I'll show you so I've joined the shoulder so when I turn it over to the good side this is how, what it looks like so this is the back and the front shoulder so this is the lining so I'll do the same thing on the second shoulder and I'll show you so this is the shoulder now I'll be joining the front and the back together. The bust round is 38, 38 divided by 2 is 19.5 and I have 24 inches here. 24 minus 19.5 is equals to 4.5. So I'll divide 4.5 into 2 and place it on both sides. And on the underboss, the underboss is 31. 31 divided by 2 is 15.5 and I have 20 inches here. So 20 minus 15.5 is 4.5. So I'll divide the 4.5 into 2 and place it on both sides. And on the waist, the waist is the same thing as the underbow, so I'll use the same measurement. So on the hip, the hip is 41, 41 divided by 2 is 20.5 and I have 23 inches here. 23 minus 20.5 is equal to 2.5, so I'll divide the 2.5 into 2. So I'm marking out the measurements, the bust is 2.25, the underbust is 2.25 and the hip is 1.25. So I'll sew it to the end like this. So I'm sewing lining to lining. What I did on the lining, I'll do the same thing on the main fabric. So I'll sew the fabric separately and I'll also sew the lining separately. So this is the dress. I've joined the front and the back together. I sewed the lining separately from the fabric. So for the sleeve, I did a slash and spread method. This is called a flutter sleeve sorry i lost some part of this of the sleeve video but i'll be making another similar sleeve very soon so like you can see on the screen it's just a slash and spread method so i'm placing the good side of the lining on the good side of the fabric and i'll sew it by half an inch to the end so let's assume i've sewn it i'll turn it to the good side so after turning it to the good side i'll pick the two end part of the sleeve that is this side and this side so on this on this part here i'll join it to the other part that is the lining will face the lining and the fabric will face the fabric then i'll make sure it's aligning on the stitched part here then i'll sew it by half an inch like this but before then i'll pin it and show you what it looks like 
so this is how i'll sew it then i'll pull it over to the good side so this is the this is the good side so this is the lining so this is the armhole so i'll join it to the main dress and i'll show you now we are done with the dress this is the sleeve i just fixed i fixed it by half an inch i did for both sleeves on the full length i hemmed it by two inches and on the lining i hemmed it by half an inch because it's a runch dress i joined the lining and fabric separately the lining is four inches shorter than the main fabric so this is the end of today's tutorial i hope it was helpful please don't forget to subscribe comment and like thank you